A few days ago, I had shared a post about Deep Claude, a new framework that harnesses DeepSeek R1's powerful reasoning capabilities with Claude's creativity and code generation, all within a unified API and chat interface. This combination is truly remarkable as it blends DeepSeek R1's chain of thought reasoning with Anthropic's Claude advanced creativity and coding capabilities. And this is something that is going to give you full control over your API keys and data. But what really stands out is its performance. According to Ader's Polygot benchmark test, the R1 plus Claude 3.5 Sonnet combines and sets a new state of the art result which is outperforming the O1 plus R1 plus Sonnet 3.5 and even DeepSeek V3 on this benchmark test, which is just truly insane. And the best part is it achieves it at a lower cost where it's 14 times cheaper in comparison to the O1 in the same result. So this is something that we're gonna be taking a look at throughout today's video. What's also great is that Deep Claude is open source, which means that it is private, secure, and highly configurable while being something that you can access locally. And it offers zero latency with dual AI power. Now we talked about why the R1 plus Claude is something that will give you the best performance, but what does that truly mean? Well, essentially what this means is that you're gonna be able to experience metacognition. This is something that will correct itself when it is thinking with the deep R1 model, deep seek R1 model, because it's a reasoning model, which is gonna provide multiple different thinking thoughts to different AI agents to provide you that answer. And essentially it's gonna think about the best answer and it's gonna provide it to you. And with that thinking or planning that the deep seek R1 model provides, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model can actually take its answer or that plan and it can then execute it based off of its performance in terms of conversational and coding skills, which is going to deliver fast, seamless AI responses with good quality. Now, just take a look at the output that I got from Deep Claude. I simply requested to create a simple SaaS website, which you see over here, and I was able to create this. Now, this is just remarkable because you can see that with the two models combined, it was able to create this beautiful SaaS website with a single prompt and no iterations. Obviously, the bottom footer is not properly formatted, but you can easily fix this. And what's wild is that it comes with a pricing structure page as well. So this is where it's pretty functional. You have a yearly and monthly plan with three different pricing tiers. Before we get started, I got a huge new update. This is where I've launched a new newsletter. This is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis and it's essentially going to be updating you on the latest AI advancements, comparison of different large language models, AI news, as well as ranking different AI agents. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free AI news. Now you can try this out right now on the cloud as they have a way for you to easily access it with their trial demo. So you can try Deep Claude on the web, and this is where you can simply go ahead and click on this configure tab and paste in your DeepSeek API, as well as your Anthropic API token. And once you have done that, you can then provide a system prompt to create whatever you would like. And you can also do this by clicking over here and describing what you want to create with it over here, and you can start generating anything. Now, if you're interested in installing this locally, you're going to need to fulfill the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Rust 1.75 or above installed. Once you have that installed, you need to make sure that you have Git installed, and this is to clone the repository locally. So once you have those prerequisites fulfilled, go over to the GitHub repository link, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as all the other links, and simply go ahead and copy this. Once that is done, open up your command prompt and simply type in git clone and paste in the link. Or actually, I should have just done this from the beginning and paste this in and click enter. This will clone this repository. And once you have uh, cloned it, you want to go into deep cloud by typing in cd deep cloud. And then you can go ahead and use the Rust command, which is cargo build. And this is to build up the project. So go ahead and then paste this in and it will start building out and installing everything that's necessary. You will then be able to access it off your local host and then you can set your API keys within the chat interface through the settings tab. Now you can also provide a system prompt so that it is able to respond in a particular manner and you can also change certain configurations like the deep sea configurations of a header, body and you can also do the same for Anthropic. 
Just take a look at this prompt that's sent in, which is going to ask how many R's does the word strawberry have? And you can see right away that the first assistant, which is the R1 model, which is going to create the plan and analyze the thinking process, get you the right answer. We'll then have the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model generate the answer for you afterwards, after it takes the planning process. So you can see how these two models work hand to hand to get you the best answer. So what I'm going to do now is have it generate a financial app that works and tracks stocks like tech stocks. And it's also something where you can manage your portfolio, like your investments, REITs, and many other types of investments. So let's see what it's capable of generating for us. So I just looked at all of this and it actually generated a couple of different components. And I configured it so that it's able to add it all into a fall. And this was the output I got for this investment app. So you can see at the top, it's going to list out all of my different stocks. So you have a watch list right now. You have a couple of the big tech stocks. You have a consumer uh, product stock, which is Amazon. So if I was to add this or click on this, actually, you can see the PE ratio, current price, et cetera, as well as the current price as of now. And if I wanted to add it to my portfolio, you can see that it's going to showcase the sector allocation. So it'll compare the different stocks you have in your portfolio so if i have nvidia you can see a tech versus consumer product and it will showcase my portfolio now this is a really basic uh app that it was capable of generating with one single prompt obviously if i was to configure it it'd be a lot better but it's able to generate something like this with functional prices as well as a visualization of the price next up i'm giving it a code snippet that is faulty and one thing i really like about this model or like the combination of these two models is that after it creates a plan it breaks down each of the different uh, steps into different code snippets so this is where we have a couple of different problems within this code snippet that i provided uh, essentially this is the code snippet that it gave it where there is a syntax error there's a couple of small errors like type errors logic errors and inconsistent return errors as well and if it's able to break down all the different components where it focused on the factorial function and it provide the fixed version in that code snippet and it focused on also fixing out all the other errors that we saw so you can see it also provides a summary and a usage example as well at the end if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more but in conclusion this is definitely a great combination of two models that is relatively cheap in comparison to the o1 instead of using it solely this is definitely something that I'd recommend that you try out as it's a local solution. Obviously, you're going to need to pay for the API keys for both of the different providers. But this is something that can execute and get you better generations than you would with the models on its own. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is truly a great app and I definitely recommend that you try it out with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the newsletter as I'm constantly posting different newsletters that will update you on the daily or weekly AI news. Follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.